Christmas vacation and Hanukkah dinners aren't the only things to look forward to this 2015. Some of our most beloved music artists are dropping epic albums in the next few months. To ensure you don't miss out on these upcoming musical explosions or simply to give you something to look forward to before the year is over, besides presents, feasts, and snow angels, here's a list of the nine albums we are most looking forward to dropping by the end of 2015, right here on Listed. Number one, Selena Gomez with Revival. On October 9th, the world will have the follow-up to Cell's 2013 Stars Dance with her newest album, Revival. A lot has happened between then and now, and we're sure to witness quite an evolution between this girl. And this girl. I just wanna look good for you, good for you. That was Cell in her chart-topping single from her new album, Good For You. But speaking of pop divas who've come a long way since their Barney days. Tell me if I want, if I did, what's my prize? I just wanna play with you. Demi Lovato comes in at number two with Confident. The new album follows 2013's Demi, which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, giving Demi plenty of reasons to now feel very confident. Her upcoming album drops October 16th. She describes it as a, quote, provocative album where she's not afraid to have attitude. And judging from her album cover, we're pretty sure she's gonna keep her word on that. At number three, newcomer Charlie Puth is sure to awe us all come November 6th with his debut album, Nine Track Mind. After penning songs for the likes of Jason Derulo, Trey Songs, and even Pitbull, he received international acclaim for his part in the fast seven hit song, See You Again by Wiz Khalifa. But his voice can certainly hold his own. In fact, his lead single from his new album proves that this kid has got soul. That's more than get it, get it of old souls. Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps the most awaited comeback of our entire list. <laughs> Janet Jackson returns at number four. Welcome back, Janet. The music icon has set October 2nd as the release date for her new album, Unbreakable her first studio record in seven years. Also, it's her first since her late brother Michael Jackson's death in 2009. Unbreakable will in large part pay tribute to MJ, marking this the very first time that Janet opens up about her brother's devastating passing. Speaking of Unbreakable, at number five, One Direction proves that pregnancies, pot smoking, and breakups will not stop them from releasing their fifth album. Made in the AM will explode onto our lives November 13th. And FYI, this is the first album by 1D made entirely without their former member Zayn Malik. So this is historical, people. Now, as for rumors that the pop group is disbanding, Niall Horan had this to say, or shall I say, to tweet. We are not splitting up, but we will be taking a well-earned break at some point next year. Number six, Little Mix reveals their recipe for success in their upcoming album. I got the recipe, it's called Magic. Black Magic is the awesome lead single of their upcoming third studio album, debuting on the 6th of November. And its name might also be my own personal motto, get weird, I will. And speaking of getting weird, who's weirder than this guy? Open Gangnam Style. No one, literally no one, which is why we could not be more excited about the Korean pop singer's comeback album at number seven. This will be his very first album in three years, and although there's no official release date, Psy has definitely promised us that it will drop before the end of the year. I cannot wait. Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Sorry about that. Moving on very quickly to someone that actually has talent. Ariana Grande takes our eighth spot with her third album titled Moonlight, and it's set to drop later this year. 
The album was recorded starting in September 2014, though the majority of it was actually recorded while Ari was on the honeymoon tour in early and mid-2015. The lead single, Focus, will be released on October 30th, 2015. I wonder what Focus is about. Maybe what she should have been doing instead of licking other people's food. Hmm, <laughs> just kidding. And finally, at number nine, we've got quite a treat. Believers everywhere, you will have your new Justin Bieber album just before the holidays. The pop prince revealed on The Tonight Show that his as of yet untitled LP will drop November 13th. And that's his first studio album since 2012. And let's keep it real. Justin had a very stormy 2013 and 2014. However, he's been trying to change that in 2015, showcasing himself in a better light, and with that comes better music. Our first tastes of Justin's new sound came first by way of his collab with Diplo and Skrillex in the track, Where Are You Now? Where are you now that I need you? And then his latest single, What Do You Mean? Oh, I really wanna know, what do you mean? When it comes to his inspiration, JB says this about his most famous ex, a lot of my inspiration comes from Selena Gomez. It was a long relationship and a relationship that created heartbreak and created happiness and a lot of different emotions that I wanted to write about. So there's a lot of that on this album. Well, you know what they say, rough times makes for really good music and we'll have plenty of that being dropped by all of our favorite artists. Now, whose albums are you guys most excited for? I mean, it's so hard to choose. Janet, Bieber, Selena, ah, so much good music, so few months left. But vote below for your faves, or if I actually skipped one that you are jonesing for, please comment below or tweet me at Miriam Issa, and then click over here for the 11 best solo artists to come out of a boy band. Avi Beyonce would take the cake if we had also included girl bands. I'm Miriam Issa, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Check out Selena Gomez's dramatic rise to fame in the left or for Demi Lovato's rise, sort of fall, and then come back, click to the right.